right, everybody, welcome to the April stationery selection box. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So here we have a list of all of the items, but let's just go ahead and jump right in. If you have not watched um, Mitz's video, I would definitely scan this QR code with your cell phone and watch this video. It comes with lots of information and ideas and background stories of the items in the kits every month. And actually, I learned a lot about some of the items in this month's kits. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first item, which I'm truly, truly excited for, is the Birdie Paper Knife. This item is a paper opener or a letter opener. It's absolutely beautiful in design. It's um, something that can stay in your office and your desk forever. And it's meant to be a letter opener or a paper cutter if you need to cut something in half. Um, it can stand up straight on your desk and provide a lovely little um, <laughs> a lovely little bird on your desk, which I think is lovely. And I'm just going to use this piece of paper that Clara scribbled on. Actually, this is Anna and Elsa, if anybody wanted to know. <laughs> um, but let's just say that this is an envelope or a piece of paper I would like to cut in half. Just going to stick the tail in and pull just like this. And it cuts it just nice. I think this is a beautiful um, addition to my collection and I think it's going to look beautiful just sitting on my desk just so. So that is the Birdie Paper Knife. The next thing, which I think is really clever, I love getting items like this just because of my children. This item is such a handy thing for my kids, uh, my older boys. They are in school and they have lots of homework and schoolwork right now. and their regular pencils go through erasers like crazy and this is a pen eraser that dispenses an eraser and the fun thing about this particular um, item is that there is a magnet here that will collect all of your eraser dust and I will demonstrate that at the end of the video but this is perfect because we are constantly going through erasers. I have to buy the pink pearl eraser so that when the eraser on their pencils are dead, I can have that. Um, but this is way more handy to have in a pen case. We also get a refill on the erasers. We have two different refills, so that's gonna hold us over for a long time, which I think is fantastic. We also get a pencil this month, and I absolutely love this pencil. Let's clear that image up just a little bit. Um, I love the vintage feel for this, but this is just a mechanical pencil. Um, I absolutely love this. I think this is a great um, item to have in your pen case, and there is an eraser right here um, that you could easily use in addition to this one but I think these just make such a great pair and I love the vintage feel of this a great addition to the pen case next in this little bag are some clips and I personally love clips but these are unlike any I've ever used before First of all, the color is fantastic. It's this really lovely vintage ivory color. It just lends itself so well. Um, it kind of matches this pencil really well and you can see compared here to the stark whiteness of this. Um, it's just really lovely. I absolutely love these clips. These are, they're really strong, if that makes sense. They're not loose clips, they're really tight. And the pressure is distributed really well because the mouth of the clip is really wide. So hopefully it won't damage our notebooks or papers in any way. The last item in the box is of course this beautiful case. You guys have been seeing it throughout the entire video and that was definitely on purpose. I want you guys to just really enjoy the beauty of this case. Now I will say that this is, um, not probably going to be the one that everybody gets. Um, the colors and um, designs will 100% vary. 
Mitt's got a bunch of different designs and um, as a design team member she did allow us to choose the design we wanted. It was between I think four or five for me and in the end I opted on this very soft blue color and um, I didn't realize this in um, the beginning when we were choosing our designs how large this case is it's very big my a5 notebook could fit into this easily and I will show you so here is my a5 um, goat skin leather notebook and I can very easily slip it in there and it fits absolutely perfectly I am just in love with this um, not only can I use it as a notebook cover and protector, um, I could use it as a pen case if I just folded it over or maybe a little clutch if I wanted to pack something light or needed to throw a couple things in my backpack. Um, there's no closures. Um, there's no zippers or magnets or any anything like that in it, um, but the cover is um, a paper material but it's coated so it's not gonna like wash away or anything. Um, Japan is sort of known for that, using paper products um, as a way to make things. But the beautiful thing is that it is actually lined with fabric and there's this really lovely tag inside with the maker's information. So this is gonna last a really long time. I am not worried about this um, going anywhere and the beautiful thing about the design is that this is timeless. This is going to be something that I could keep in my office, on my desk, in my bag, always. And I just really will cherish this item. Um, I've said it before and I will say it again. Um, I feel like I say it every time I do one of these unboxings, but I really appreciate items that are going to stay in my office for a really long time. Um, and everything in this month's kit is definitely one of those items. I am not going to have to worry about these items running out or becoming useless in any way. Um, I can easily get refills for this eraser. I can easily get refills um, of the lead because it's just a .05 um, and that is um, that's something I can get anywhere. These clips are going to be in my office forever because they're metal. They're never going to break down or, or go away. And then we have this beautiful um, paper cutter, letter opener thing, <laughs> um, the paper knife. I just, I think this is incredible. This month has really blown me away with items that I'm going to be able to keep on my desk, in my pen case, in my office forever. I'm not going to run out, the washi tape is not going to end, the ink is not going to dry and become something I can't find ever again. These are items that are going to stay in my office forever and I really love and appreciate when Mitz thinks of things like this. Um, so I'm super thankful for that but let's test um, the eraser. I want you guys to see how cool it is. Alright so I've got my little notebook here and I'm going to go ahead and test out this pencil, this Penco pencil. Oh my gosh, writing with a pencil really takes me back. <laughs> um, it's just so much fun. Um, so I could use the eraser that's on here easily. It's not a big deal. Um, but I want to test out this really interesting eraser. So I'm just going to click it down. I'm not, I don't want too much out, but I want to be able to sort of control what's going on. All right, so there we have our eraser dust and I'm just going to use this tip to pick it up. How fun is that? And there it is right there. I can easily just dump this into my trash can. It's now gone. I didn't have to touch it with my fingers at all. Um, I just did a quick little tap on my trash can and there we are. I do want to say that I think the eraser actually works really well. Um, I'm actually really impressed with how much of the lead it was able to pick off. Sorry, something just fell off my desk into the windowsill, but I'm gonna bring it in a little closer so you can see how fun this magnet action is. And then I'm just going to... How fun is that? Oh my God, the kids are gonna die for this. And if it just becomes too much, a couple taps on my trash can. 
and then I can just pick up that. Oh my god, it's just so cool. <laughs> Um, I just think that's really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so. And then I think to replace this, let's get this to focus back down here. You just pop the lid right off and then you can go ahead and put it in there. And then you have to, the mitt said there was like a special way to line it up. There it is. Did you hear it? Okay, I didn't want to do it on camera, but. Um, it totally was there. <laughs> and there we have it. And then I just push it back up like I would with the lead pencil here. But that is it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I know I definitely have enjoyed this month's kit. I think the colors are very soft. I really appreciate that she includes things like this um, so that we can use this for a while. And I just love this case. This paper case is just really lovely. Let's just go over everything one last time. We have our eraser, um, the refill, the paper knife, the Penco pencil, the planner clips, and the Shogodo Japanese using paper pouch. So this is just really fun. I Let's see. So the outer Japanese using paper is kneaded and coated with Japanese paper reinforcement, which is a natural ingredient to improve water resistance and um, wear resistance. And um, yeah, it's basically meant to be like a planner case. So let's see, I could easily, I just wanna play now. <laughs> I could easily put my traveler's notebook in there. She's a little bit chunky, but it still lends itself really well. It's still very well protected, uh, especially with that cloth liner. I could probably slide my A5 in there too and have no issues. And I like that it's open-ended. I have another um, case like this that was gifted to me um, and I used it forever. And I think it's actually holding one of my old notebooks now just because I just love it so much. I don't want it to get messed up, but um, yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please um, find all the information you need for the stationery selection down below, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.